वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास थ्री चैप्टर टू एडिशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स अंडर द चैप्टर टू एडिशन फैक्ट्स हाउ टू एड थ्री डिजिट नंबर हाउ टू वी ग्रुप बाई लैडिंग एग्जाम्पल्स वर्ड प्रॉब्लम एंड इन द लास्ट आई प्रोवाइड यू अ वर्कशीट टू प्रैक्टिस अपॉन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स Let's start our chapter 2 with addition facts. First fact is numbers can be added in any order. For example, 2 plus 3 equals to 5. Similarly, 3 plus 2 is also equals to 5. Second fact is when one is added to a number, the sum is the number after. For example when 1 is added to 18 answer comes out to be 19 which is the number after 18 Third fact is when 0 is added to a number the sum is the number itself For example when 0 is added to number 18 answer remains 18 because we are not adding anything to 18 Let's revise these facts through some exercise. 127 plus 1 equals to dash. The answer is 128, which is according to our fact 2 that when 1 is added to a number, the sum is the number after. Similarly, 49 plus 1 equals to dash. Answer is 50, based on the second fact only. Dash plus ninety nine equals to hundred. Answer is one because hundred is the successor of ninety nine. Next is fourteen plus dash equal to fourteen. Answer is zero because when zero is added to a number, the sum is the number itself. Next is one plus fourteen equals to 14 plus dash answer is 1 as we discussed in the first fact numbers can be added in any order 14 plus dash equals to 15 answer is 1 because when 1 is added to a number the sum is the number after and we know that 15 comes after 14 Let's learn the addition of three digit numbers. Example is add 456 and 231. We will first write the numbers in column as displayed. Now first add the digits at ones place. 6 plus 1 equals to 7. Moving forward to tens place we will add 5 plus 3 which is equal to 8 and then add digits at hundreds place 4 plus 2 equals to 6 so our answer is 687 or 687 now let's learn the addition with regrouping at ones place Here the example is to add 236 to 147. So first let's write the numbers in column form. Now we will start adding the digits at ones place. 6 plus 7 equals to 13. Since 13 is a two digit number, we will regroup 13 into one tens which will act as a carry and three ones. Now how to write this answer We will write 3 in ones column and 1 will act as a carry to tens place Moving forward add digits at tens place 3 plus 4 plus 1 which is the carry gives us answer 8 Now 
Let's add the digits at hundreds place. 2 plus 1 equals to 3. So our answer comes out to be 383. Moving forward, let's learn the addition with regrouping at tens place. Here, the example is to add 435 to 399. Let's first write the numbers in column form. Now, add the digits at ones place. 5 plus 9 equals to 14. Regroup 14 into 1 tens carry and 4 ones. We will write 4 in 1's column and 1 will act as a carry to 10's place. Now, let's add the digits at 10's place. 3 plus 9 plus 1 which is the carry the answer gives is 13. Again, regroup 13 into 1 carry and 3 10's. We will write 3 at 10's place and 1 act as a carry at 100's place. In the last, add the digits at 100's place. 4 plus 3 plus 1 which is the carry equals to 8. So our answer is 834. Now, let's learn the addition with regrouping at hundreds place. Here, the example is to add 758 to 494. Let's first write the numbers in column form. We will start adding the digits at ones place. So, 8 plus 4 is 12. Since it's a two digit number, we will regroup 12 into 1 tens which will act as a carry and 2 ones. We will write 2 at 1's place and 1 will go to 10's place. Now let's add the numbers at 10's place. 5 plus 9 plus 1 equals to 15. Again regroup 15 into 1 carry and 5 tens. Moving forward, we'll add the digits at hundreds place. 7 plus 4 plus 1 equals to 12. Again, we will regroup 12 into 1 carry and 2 hundreds. Now, 1 will act as a carry 2000's place. And we'll add the thousands which is only 1 carry in this case. So, our answer is 1, 2, 5, 2. Now students, let's see how to solve word problems related to addition. The question is, there are 1173 students in the wing A of a school and 859 students in the wing B. How many students are there in school? Now let's first understand the problem. There are 1173 students in wing A and 859 students in wing B. And we have to find out total number of students in school. So it's a clear case of addition. Let's see how to solve this word problem. We will first write the statements about things given in the question. Students in wing A equals to 1173. Students in wing B equals to 859. Total number of students will be 1173 plus 859. Now let's do the addition by writing these two numbers in column form. Now we'll add the digits present at 1's place. So 9 plus 3 equals to 12. We will regroup 12 and put 2 at 1's place while 1 will act as a carry and will go to 10's place. We'll add the digits at 10's place now. So 7 plus 5 
plus 1 which is the carry gives us 13 we'll regroup 13 and we'll put digit 3 at tens place and 1 will act as a carry and will go to hundreds place now we'll add the digits at hundreds place 8 plus 1 plus 1 which is the carry gives us 10 so we'll put 0 at hundreds place and 1 carry goes to thousands place now we will add the digits at thousands place so 1 plus 1 gives us 2 so our answer is 2032 but students we should not leave the answer but just by adding these numbers we should also write the answer statement so our answer statement will be there are 2032 students in the school in the end i am giving you a worksheet for practice students you will find the answers to worksheet number 2 in my next video first question is write in columns and find the sum for following question number 2 is there are 1499 pencils in a box and 788 pencils in a carton how many pencils are there in all third question is in the garden there are 375 roses 642 marigolds and 142 lilies so how many flowers are there in the garden and the last question is on saturday 1457 men 309 women and 2787 children visited the science museum how many people in all visited the museum on saturday thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more Thank you. Bye-bye.